So a few weeks ago, I made a shell of a house and I asked you guys to turn it into something real. Like take my box and make it into a real house because I knew that with this shell, you could take it and turn it into anything you wanted. You could make some kind of crazy eco-modern house. You could make a suburban house, some, a cabin in the mountains. You know, you could take this same shell and turn it into really anything. And now today we're going to tour 10 of your builds from the gallery and see how people took this same house and made it so vastly different. Keep in mind, there were a ton of entries to this. Obviously I can't tour them all on YouTube, but today on stream, I'm going to look at some more of them. So that's twitch.tv forward slash lilsimsy. I'm live at 4 p.m. Eastern time. I'll look at some more of the builds on stream. I spent a long time this morning and last night picking out houses for the video, and I'm really excited to show these to you guys because they're so good. But this is the shell that I built. So you can see it's just a two-story little box. There's some kind of weird bits to it as far as like random diagonals and then there's this wall in the middle that they had to keep and so they took this shell and then all turned into houses they could rotate it they could put it on bigger lots they could do whatever they wanted they just couldn't touch my walls so they couldn't add exterior walls they could obviously like make a floor plan on the inside but they couldn't be like you know what i want to make the house bigger that's against the rules. So they had to take this shell and only this shell and turn it into something else. Now, people always say that I'm a good builder, and I, I think I agree. I'm, I'm an all right builder in The Sims 4, but after today, I have changed my mind. <laughs> I am not a good builder. These people are so much better than me. This is what I did for the shell challenge. So you can see it's kind of like a pretty generic looking suburban house. I made the inside pretty cute. There's a little office area. There's a few bedrooms. We've got a big like laundry bathroom area, cute kitchen, you know? But all in all, pretty generic looking suburban house. I loved the backyard I did though, so I'm gonna like brag about it for a second. <laughs> I think this was really cool. But then, you know, once you see what everyone else did, um, you'll realize that it's not actually that cool and that I suck. So the first house I wanna show you is from a winged llama, and this person, <laughs> how? I toured one of their houses in the last video I did like this because they're just so good. And I literally, I saw this on Reddit and I was like, oh my God, that's insane. And then I realized that it was an entry to my challenge. And I was like, <laughs> how? Actually, how did you do this? I'm not kidding. This house is the coolest thing you'll ever see in The Sims. I'm so blown away. Look at this. This is my shell. Oh my God, it's so good. Like this stuff with, with these boards and things, like I, how did you pull that off? Like, actually, how did you pull that off? So they're using a ton of items from Debug, obviously, to make this work. But it looks so good. I mean, honestly, look at this. I mean, I'm just, I'm so blown away by this. Oh, I like that window a lot. That's really cute. Anyway, <laughs> it's so good. So you can see the upstairs level, they've turned into like a, a garden space outdoors. I think this is so cool to have a rooftop garden like this. And they've got like the signs and the plants. I just, I was so impressed by that. But then when you actually go inside of the house, you can see they've got, oh, move objects. Hang on. I had it on when I placed this, but then my game crashed and then I had to place it again. Okay. Well, look at that. <laughs> and then when you actually go inside, they have this amazing little dining room. But can we talk about the flooring? When I saw this, I was like, what is that? We don't have that in the game. And then I realized, that they're taking regular floorboards, right? And they're just rotating them a bunch to make like super cool flooring patterns. And I don't even understand how you did this. It looks so good. I'm so shocked. It must've taken them so long to do this. <laughs> I just, I can't believe my eyes. And look, they took like a regular island counter and they put this thing in it, this item, um, that marble thing, and then they've got, like, the trim on it. Like, look at the island counter they made. They made this island counter. And they made this little plant pot with that item from Jungle Adventure and stuff. Like, the, the level of detail in this build is unbelievable. It makes me feel bad about myself. <laughs> and they took my little weird box they had to keep and turned into, like, this fountain. I mean, how? How did you think of this? And look at this with the living room. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? They even put pillows on the couch. They put pillows on the couch. I love this shelf behind. I just, it looks so good. It's so detailed. I'm so impressed. I could never pull this off. Never in a million years. <laughs> I'm just not creative enough to like think of this and, and to like have the patience to place all these items. I mean, and the landscaping, like the, how did you do that? And then upstairs there's three bedrooms. They're adorable. I mean like this house is genuinely so good. I want to play in it. <laughs> I want to make a little garden sim and I want to come and I want to plant stuff up here. And I want to take care of my bees. Awesome house. All around 
amazing awesome house. Now this next house is by Tiny Developments and it's amazing because it's base game only. I feel like challenges like this people kind of get in their head like oh I don't have any packs so I can't build a cool house because I need all the packs to make something exciting. You don't. This is a base game house and it looks amazing. Like you could look at this you would not know this is a base game house by any means. Like look at how incredible this is. The landscaping they did. I love to do this with the get together rug so they just use the base game rug. Like oftentimes I'll use this rug this like stone shaped rug from get together to make like a pathway like that but they use the base game one and it looks awesome and they have like all kinds of cool landscaping using debug these are just debug landscaping items so they're free and anyone can use them and the back i love the backyard look at this <laughs> it's so cool they did a really good job with this house i'm really impressed and that roof i because this roof is really weird like the shape of it um you can see by the shape of the walls here but like doing the roof is really odd i i explained in my video that i made when i toured my shell build i'll link it down below but i explained how weird of a roof it is and it's fun to look at how people manage the roof because that was like the most challenging part of the build i think and then on the inside, again, you would never know it's just a base game house. I mean, it's adorable. It even has a gym. <laughs> They've really got it all. I love this kitchen. I think it's really cute. I don't know. I was, I'm thoroughly impressed by this. <laughs> Look at that three bedroom still. I don't know. Really nice house. I love the outside. And again, it's base game. Base game. How did you do this? <laughs> so don't get discouraged, friends. You don't need all the packs to make a cool looking house. I promise. Now, the whole point of this challenge was to use my shell. And really, there were no rules except um, don't touch my walls. <laughs> So you can add anything else in the lot you wanted. You could add gazebos, you could add entire zombie apocalypse cities. And this <laughs> build uh, by Kalpaka, I it must have taken them so long. Are you seeing this? Oh, but <laughs> how? <laughs> so my shell is this building here and it's been turned into some sort of like maybe factory thing of sorts. I mean, it's still a house, but like, I'm definitely getting like, um, <laughs> freaky factory vibes from it, you know, like from the outside. It's like someone converted it into a place where they could live. But like, look at the outside of it. I love, oh wait, move objects. God, my game crashed like three times trying to place all these lots and I kept saving, but then like, I'd be like, oh yeah, it'll be fine. I saved like a second ago and then I'll place three more and then my game would crash again, but it's fine. <laughs> I love the broken down fence they placed for this. I think it looks so good. They use, again, so many debug objects for this it's insane there's a cheat where you can type in bb.show hidden objects and then bb.show live edit objects and you get like millions more items and so you can see all these people are using them for their more detailed builds but look what they do with my shell it looks so good i mean it still has a dining room and everything like bookcase door <laughs> and it takes you into a freaky basement wait that's so weird it's like a bunker oh my god <laughs> oh it's just so beyond impressive i really i can't believe this and this is that wall that was weird. They made it into part of their kitchen. Love, lovely appliance color, honestly. <laughs> really modern and, and cute. And then the rest of the lot, like all they had to do is the shell and they went and did this. So they've added a few other buildings and stuff. Obviously like big old buildings. This one looks like it maybe was a clothing store or something. Obviously now it's, um, Oh, that's kind of scary with these mannequins in the doorway. You open that garage door and you're dead, honestly. I love this. They use all kinds of Strangerville stuff. I mean, I would never have thought to do this. And think about how long it must have taken them to do this build. It's a huge lot. It's a 60, 50 by 50 lot. <laughs> It's a 50 by 50 lot and they filled it up. I feel like I'm gonna miss things like trying to tour. There's probably a bunch of like little inside jokes in down here. I mean, it's just, this is so cool and so creative. And I love the gate into it. Like It's just something bad is going down here. This next one's by Sarah Amina and I love the pool in this build. Look, you went and made an infinity pool. <laughs> it looks so cool. I mean, this is insane. Ah, it's just so impressive. This is a beautiful house. I would love to play in this. The pool is so cool, like genuinely so cool. Obviously the inside's amazing too. I love all the colors they chose. I just, look how cool this looks. They took, it's like the back of the cabinet, but they use it to make a big like wooden thing. I mean, there's so many creative people that do these builds. I just, I don't relate. <laughs> I really, I always think I'm like, okay, a building. And then I, I look at these kind of builds and I'm like, oh, right. So I'm not, <laughs> I would never have thought of this. <laughs> look at the backyard too. I mean, you can lounge out here and look at that dinosaur, you know? I like how they have so many like special outdoor seating areas. They've got all kinds of places to lounge around. It's like a cool villa type place. I don't know, I really enjoyed this build. I think it's so cool. I like the color scheme on the outside too with that like reddish wood and then the white cream. I don't know, <laughs> it looks really cool. I keep saying that, but I, I can't go over the pool though. This looks awesome. Like look, it's a it's a giant pool, but are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? <sighs> Genuinely obsessed with it. 
you did great. This build by Tinky Say is a Parisian photo studio slash home, and this is one of the most clever ideas I've seen. I mean, this is just an example of how different all these builds are, right? Like, we have these crazy modern ones, and then, and then we have this Parisian photo studio. I mean, look at that! That's my shell! <laughs> how did you do that? It's so pretty, and then when you look on the inside, they've got this grand entryway, you know, into the photo studio, and they have all this, like, reception area, so detailed you can come in and wait in the waiting room, and it's all kind of modern and fun, and I sort of with the furnishing, I mean. <laughs> and then we have like a little office area here, and then you have the actual photo studio places. And there's a few of them. We got like a bathroom area. And then upstairs, there's an apartment for the people that work here. And I think that's so clever. Like you could have, you know, Sims come over and take their photos here, and then you could live here. And I think that's genuinely genius. And I love how this looks. I think it's very realistic, right? If you had like an old building like this that you converted into a photo studio, because they have like all these fancy architectural details with, you know, the, the walls and all the archways and stuff. They've kind of furnished it in a really modern kind of fancy way using mosquito stuff. And it looks so good. I, I want to bring my Sims here. Like I want to get my wedding photos taken here, you know? And then the tripod cameras, so you could like take any photos. I mean, this is great. This is so useful for gameplay and it's beautiful. I mean, like I'm actually going to put this in my game. I actually want to visit it. And look at the outside. I can't get over this. I'm sorry. Look, this door looks like it's open. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? <laughs> There's just so many little clever details. I'm so, so beyond impressed. Like, this apartment has outdoor spaces. They have, like, this balcony. They have this one where they've got a grill. Got a fancy bathroom and the kitchen is beautiful. I mean, like... This is one of those builds where you keep looking at it and you keep finding cool new things. I mean, they're all kind of like this, right? Where you keep looking around and then finding more exciting parts of it. Like, look, there's a little flower booth thingy, right? Flower booth. <laughs> there's a little place to make flower bouquets. I don't know, I'm really impressed with this one. This house is by Pickle Factory 123 and it's this crazy modern house and the landscaping and the way they fill up the lot is so cool. L look at this. This must have taken so long, like genuinely so long. They've got all these little fountain pieces and like all of these are individually placed rugs and they look great. Like the level of detail they would have had to spend like placing these rugs individually, oh my god, must have been so much work, but it looks amazing. And they have kind of like a boardwalk around it and I just, this is awesome. And there's so much outdoor space, right? Where you've got like, you know, a, a dining sitting area right here. The landscaping is so pretty. I, I mean, look what they've done. They like wrapped it around. These are individually placed too. All these little tiles to make that little frame for the landscaping. They made the borders themselves. Have an outdoor kitchen. They've got this like fancy seating area underneath this glass thing. Oh, move objects again. Dang it! <laughs> This is one of the builds that crashed my game, too. <laughs> Look, they have like a bed outside. This is like some kind of Love Island Villa stuff going on. <laughs> But look at the hot tub. I just, this is so pretty. It'd be so fun to play in this house. And then the inside is just as cool, if not cooler. Also, look at this window. They really did that. That's so fun. Anyway, <laughs> they've got all kinds of cool spaces. The stairs are awesome. The kitchen is split leveled and it looks really good. I like this double cabinet thing. That's awesome. Also, I love the colors in this dining room. I never use these chairs, but they look really good. Like now I want to use them. I don't know. I'm so beyond impressed with this house. I think this one is the outside is just so cool. I like the double light there too. That's awesome. I... I can't stop looking at things. Like, I obviously have seen these houses before because I picked them to show you, but even now I'm like coming back in and finding more things that I missed. Like, this landscaping is so pretty. I'm so impressed and jealous. I could never pull this off. I don't know how to build modern houses, and this one looks so good. It makes me feel ashamed of myself. <laughs> I'm gonna steal this idea with the landscaping though. I like how they've ordered this. I mean, I bet it takes a long time, but like, it looks really good, and now I wanna use it. <laughs> now, this house is one that doesn't even look real. Like when I saw it, I was like, there's no way you have a waterfall, Mr. Max 92. There's no way. And then I put it in my game and Mr. Max 92 has a waterfall. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? There's a waterfall <laughs> and a river that goes all the way around the whole build. I mean, this house is genuinely one of my favorite things I've ever seen. Like It's like fully on a cliff. I just... <sighs> How did you do this? How much time did this take you? I need to know. But you see, they have a bridge that you walk over to get up and they have like all this old fencing placed around. Now these are a ton more of those objects that you have to unlock with those cheats. And like, they have a boat <laughs> and bees. I just, it looks so good. I'm so, I'm so 
excited about this. So this waterfall object is like straight up a waterfall object from Debug that they placed in there. And I just, I can't believe my eyes. They really did that. It looks so good. I, I'm not good at landscaping, I feel like. And this is everything I could ever dream to be. And so the outside, they have like a gazebo and a swing set. They've got a little dock over here. Some fish, they've been fishing. <laughs> There's a cute sitting area on the back of the house. There's a ton of outdoor space, like for balconies and stuff. But this is my house. This is like my shell. I And you made it into this. <laughs> like the, de the detailing with all the stone and like these logs. I mean, it looks so good. They also have like detailing on the inside with wood like picture you know they have like these wooden beams in the ceiling i mean that looks so pretty so you walk in they have an entryway here they turned my little bump out thing into like a built-in area with a fireplace and the living room is adorable look at this are you seeing this i love these windows too with the door it just it looks so cute everything about this house is so cool they've got a dining room i love the style of this place i would never think to use these chairs either because i don't really like them that much normally but like they look really good here and I would have never even considered using them myself. And like, now I feel dumb for not trying. <laughs> and look what they did here. They took one of the big paintings and then they put mirrors in it. So it looks like a frame for the mirror. Genius, genius. <laughs> and then in here, the kitchen. I mean, guys, it just looks so cool with these lights hanging from that beam too. I mean, and they even have postcards on the wall. Like I just, I I'm so impressed. The level of detail is insane. There's a couple bedrooms upstairs. We have like this fun little paint art studio. Look at that. That level of detail? Incredible. I just, why? <sighs> I would have never thought of this. Is that an alien? Yeah, sure. <laughs> and this bedroom, I mean, oh my God, it's so cool. This kid has like the dream room, genuinely. I never think about putting half walls in the middle of rooms, but that's like a great way to use up more of the space too, obviously, because you have more space like for wall space to put things on. And look at the little thingy hanging up. I just, man, this place is so good. The bathroom looks amazing. I, <sighs> look at this bedroom. <laughs> this is genuinely every kid's dream. Look, we got a triple monitor set up. We got a gamer on our hands, guys. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. I would love to play in this house. I don't think it's functional because your Sims can't actually walk across this bridge. Um, but they could like probably swim across this, right? <laughs> it's just, it's so pretty. It's so beautiful. I can't believe it. I know I'm gushing, but I just, it's, I, I'm not this good at building. I don't know how you guys are. It seems like terrain tools are very popular for these builds and I never use terrain tools, but this sustainable eco lodge by Sabatron Cannot <laughs> is adorable also. And again, uses all kinds of terrain tools. They like put houses on hills. These people are very talented. I don't know how to make that look good. Like I can build a hill, sure, but I don't know how to make it look nice. They're out here making boulders and cliffs and stuff. Look at that, they made a cliff. <laughs> But this is a really cool house. I mean, the roofing, again, one of those things where the roofing is so hard to do for this build and I think they made it so interesting. I love the logs. I mean, this house is so fun. Down here they have like a little greenhouse for you to grow your plants in. And then when you actually go upstairs, there's two entries to the house. You can come in this way and there's like, by the way, a really fun color scheme. They've got like a little fireplace with a cat on it. And look at the paintings they used. I think these, these are like custom paintings, right? Cause they're photographs. So people download custom content and then take photos of their CC and then they put it in houses. But like, look at this dining room. What is this? That's in the game. How did you do that? Oh my God. Wait, oh my God. Look at this. I feel like my life has just been changed. This house on the inside is so cool. I didn't even notice these flowers before. <laughs> they made like a fake sectional by combining two sofas. I, this place is so fun. I wish that we'll get real sectionals soon because we don't have them yet. Wait, look at that. I have never thought of putting like one of those cutting boards on the edges of photos to make a frame like that. That's so cool. Obviously more of the like custom content paintings and they aren't custom content. This build this class is having no CC. It's just in the game and that's really fun. I like these, just putting these little button things on the wall. I mean, I don't ever think about stuff like that, like tiny decorations. What's this thing? I have literally never seen that in my life. It's from Dine Out. I've just never placed it, I guess. <laughs> I didn't even know we had that. <laughs> You can tell how I never build like modern things because I've never even put this in my game. I've never even tried to use this item. Genuinely didn't even know we had that. 
<laughs> okay. And then there's three bedrooms upstairs and they're all so nicely furnished. I love these kids rooms. I think it's so fun to decorate kids rooms and try and make like really interesting styles to them. And they turned out so cute. I'm so impressed. <laughs> And then the back of the house, I mean, this whole place is so good. It's genuinely so good. This one, another example of crazies and building cliffs. This is the Woodsy Wonder Shell Challenge by Lou and Jack 000 on the gallery. And it's so cool. I can't wait to show you guys this. Are you seeing this? That's my shell. Look what they did. How did they do that? <laughs> so you'll see they have like a another lake type river thing in the front here. It's got a little dock so you can fish off of it. And then they have a bridge over it. And then you can walk up and then you can go up this way. It looks like the terrain paint shifted when I placed it off the gallery. And that's so annoying. I'm so sorry. But <laughs> I know what you did. <laughs> it's okay. The game just likes to ruin terrain paint when you place things from the gallery. But you come back here and they have their little backyard. They've got swing sets and patchy and plants and a basketball hoop. There's a ton of fun outdoor space here too with like balconies and things. I don't really often put balconies in my builds and like after seeing you guys do them, some people have like four balconies in one build and they look so good and they're so fun to have that extra space because also balconies are a good spot to put those things that you like need for your sims but don't want in your house. Like sometimes you need to have one of those little flower thingies or you need an easel or a chess table or like a microscope and you can kind of just be like, oh yeah, on the balcony, <laughs> just put it over there and then you can use it but it's not like in your living room, you know? But anyway, I love the outdoors of this. I think it's so pretty. And they have a wreath on the front door, but then when you come into the house, they have like a little sitting area here. They just fully made their own couch. Like <laughs> they took these little tables from spa day and then these chairs and made their own couch. And I love it. Again, with the fake sectionals, we need sectionals for real in the game, but these people managed to make a cupcake machine work. Like these people, this is the kind of house that's like actually playable because oftentimes I feel like when you download houses off the gallery, like mine especially, <laughs> they never have any of the objects you actually like might need for your Sims. Maybe you want to be a baker, you need a cupcake machine, but like how do you make a cupcake machine fit in your house? Maybe you need one of these observatory things, you know, but this person, they actually like put them in the build and they look okay. Like they look good. This thing, it like makes sense. I'm like, yeah, the cupcake machine in the kitchen, sure. When oftentimes they seem very out of place. And then here, this is that little box that I had. They've got even a pantry, the dining room, the clutter of this house is so cute. I'm so impressed. And see, they have like the, the weight, the llama table, they've got bars and pianos. They really have all the objects that like, you know, you just kind of usually leave out from your builds because they take up too much space, but they actually put them in and it's fun. Look, we have a foosball table. <laughs> and the house is so pretty. Look, they've got another one and a chess table. I mean, I'm just, I'm so impressed. This feels like a really good legacy house to me. Like the kind of house that you would pick for your Sims that they need a, a big house for a big family you've been playing in for a long time. Cause you have like a ton of money. And so you can just <laughs> make this, you know? And then you have all the things you need. I just, I love this place. It's so cool. All these exteriors, I'm so beyond impressed by them. I could never pull this off. This last one is from Chrissy YT and it's the autumnal suburban home. And I love this because they pulled the roof off so well. The landscaping is adorable and it's such a, like, this is a very playable, beautiful house and I'm really jealous because this is like what I aspire to build but can't pull off. Like this, I'm angry at you, Chrissy, because I want to be you. I'm angry at all of these people, honestly. All you freaks, I'm gonna steal your ideas. I'm not kidding. <laughs> this is how I'm learning how to build. This is like Simsy's build lessons <laughs> from Simsy's audience because I needed this. I have to put a sim in here so we can actually play in this house, but we'll come in really fast. I wanted it to be autumn so you could like really embrace it, you know? Are you seeing? this look at the landscaping and the pumpkins like you know those Instagram girls that have like the most beautiful fall decorations this is them <laughs> I mean are you seeing this like the pumpkins up the steps I think that's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life I'm so jealous also never thought to use this debug thing as a flower box like upstairs that looks adorable and look at the roof they did it <laughs> I mean, this is really good. It's it's the thing where it's hard to roof this shape, right? It's very odd <laughs> and and you pulled it off, Chrissy. The backyard, I love this big patio and more of the leaves. And look, they have more pumpkins back in the outside. And I, are you seeing this? I love this. I want this to be my house in real life. And then when you go inside of the house, it's still decorated. This is, this is the definition of like those Instagram girls that have the most beautiful fall houses. How do they do that? 
How do you afford so many pumpkins? How do you have so many pumpkins? Anyway, well, look, look, <laughs> when you walk in, you have these really cute little pumpkins on the table. I'm like getting inspired by how to decorate my Sims houses now. And I love this, the fairy lights, like in the curtains like that. I have never thought of doing that. And now I'm so jealous that I didn't think of it. But they have a little garden out here in like a greenhouse type of area. We've got a small kitchen over here. Look, that's where I put my kitchen too. Same wavelength, honestly. <laughs> I like the use of the orange appliances too, because I've never considered doing that either. And that looks really good. Like this house can pull it off. Got a living space in here with more pumpkins. I also made this into a bathroom in my build with like laundry in it too. I just, it looks so good. This is like what I wanted to pull off, but couldn't. <laughs> Look at behind the bed. That's so cute. I'm gonna steal that too. That looks really good. I'm really impressed. Like genuinely, I am really jealous of this person. <laughs> All these builds were so good. They were so impressive. It makes me feel bad about myself. And I will definitely do more shell challenges in the future. I, this is my second one I've done and they're so fun to do because I made a house like two, three weeks ago and I was like, okay team, go. <laughs> and then I came back and you blew my mind, okay? And again, there were so many entries to this. So I'm really sorry if I couldn't tour yours, but as you can see, um, there are a lot of them on the gallery. A lot of them on the gallery. It's just, just constant. You could scroll forever, I say, as it freezes. But there's so many builds. And I'm really sorry if I missed yours in the video. But again, am I... But again, I am streaming tonight. I stream every day on Twitch, but tonight we're gonna look at more of these on stream to show off some of your builds there too. Cause we could do like 10 in a video, but we can show off a ton in three hours on stream, you know? So check out the stream if you wanna come by and maybe see your build showed off on stream, I don't know. You guys are seriously so talented. I'm so impressed. And also anyone who I toured today, if you wanna email me, my email is contact at lilsimsy.com. Send me your gallery name and be like, hey, Simsy. I could really use this game pack. Let me know and I'll buy it for you and I'll send it to you. If you don't have a stuff pack that you want either, but I'm gonna do game packs this time. So let me know if you need a game pack, I'll send you a code, but email me. Cause when I did it on Twitter, I, I just, I get so many tweets. So like I miss some of them, but like if you email me then I can, I'll, I'll send you a code. So anyway, thank you for doing this with me. I had so much fun. I just, it's like made my heart feel so full. I love looking at cool builds in The Sims. La, okay. <laughs> we'll do another one soon, fingers crossed. Maybe like a university based one, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off right here. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I can't believe that you people are this good at building. It like makes me feel a level of genuine rage inside, <laughs> but also like jealousy and awe. I don't know, I'm feeling a lot of things right now, but you're all very impressive.